Now we can register users and save their data in the database using that function create user with email and password. But if you notice here, we do this statically. I mean we want to make those inputs generate the password and email, not from the code. To do this, first we have to learn how to control text input. In React Native, to control text inputs, you need two properties. And those properties are value and on change text. Those two properties, we make them to control inputs in React Native. And to control text input also, we need to save the data in the state. So let's create use state hooks. Const email set email equals to use state. And we will start with empty string. Okay, let's create another one. Const password set password equals to use state. And let's add the last user state hook, const confirm password, set confirm password equals to use state. Now we have three state variables or three state constants to control those three inputs. Okay, now let's make the first, the first property and it's that property is the value and the first value will be email the first element in the array of the user state if you are if you are wonder if you don't know what user state do in react please check the video in the description and don't worry i will talk about user state here and i will describe it to you so you can learn it but briefly now the value here will be the email and the Second input, the value is going to be password. The third input, the value is going to be confirm password. Now we tell React Native that we want that input field to take the data or the string of this field. Now let's add the second property and second property is on change text and it take an argument text so we can log it console dot log text so let's see what we get here in the console if we type anything here a a a a a so let's set our state to that text let's set email to that text and let's type anything email now let's see what email value here is let's for example alert put alert email look let's try to use another thing for example my email at gmail.com and let's alert it so now we have stored our data inside that email value, inside user state. So now we can easily replace that string with this email. Okay, let's just put it up here. Now let's do the same, but with the password here. on change text equals to text set password to that text now let's add the password up here so now let's create a user so now let's create a user with some email and some password and Let's save it and see what's happening in the database. But let's change that alert. For example, let's make it user created with, with those credentials. And let's add here.
email and password so let's test now let's try to add a user with some email like test email test user at gmail.com and the password is gonna be one two three four five six now let's sign up a user great user created with those credentials test user at gmail.com and one two three four five six so now let's check our database to see our user here in authentications <sighs> we have here our user with test user at gmail.com let's try one more time let's make it new one at gmail.com with password 098 and let's press sign up user created with those credentials new one at gmail.com let's refresh that page to see great our new user has been registered in firebase successfully so in that video, you've learned how to control React Native inputs and how to, reg to register users to Firebase. Follow me for the next lesson to learn how to log in to Firebase using Firebase accounts.